15 seconds. Ready for an on time launch for the instantaneous one. 10, run. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engines full power and lift off. The crew six. Go Dragon, go Falcon. Now launching on Endeavour's fourth flight to the International Space Station. Vehicles pitching down range. 1.7 million pounds of thrust provided by the nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. Hearing good calls, stage one propulsion is nominal. One Bravo. That one Bravo indicator are different abort modes that are called that allow the ground teams and the crew to track about the position of the Falcon 9 and the Dragon as they make their way up the eastern seaboard. In the event of an abort, these different abort modes would indicate about the position where Dragon would land, started. as well as uh, indicate what series of maneuvers Dragon would indicate but so far we're hearing good calls on the performance of the Falcon 9 on its ride uphill. One minute, 53 seconds into flight. Two Alpha. Copy, two Stage Alpha. separation confirmed. There you can see on your screen confirmation of stage separation Perfect. as well as ignition of that second stage engine. Second stage is now carrying the Crew-6 astronauts to orbit. Beautiful view there on the left-hand side of your screen coming from the first stage, which as you can see is still gaining an altitude. It has not yet uh, reached its apogee, a beautiful view of the Florida Space Coast there in the background. Meanwhile, we're tracking good performance on that MVAC engine. On the screen to your right, we'll be hearing periodic performance calls about once every minute of the status of the trajectory of the second stage and the Crew-6 astronauts that are inside Crew Dragon Endeavor. We'll also be hearing call outs. Bermuda. Just like you heard just there, as we pass over the various ground stations along the ascent track. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. And there's that performance call out. Dragon, now just nominal trajectory. As Hearing. for the first stage there on the left-hand side of your screen, about that first stage still gaining an altitude, although um, that gain is slowing down. Um, it will be making its way back down to Earth, landing, uh, attempting a landing on our drone ship. Just read the instructions, which is located um, off the Florida coast by a couple hundred miles. The MVAC engine on stage two burns for six minutes after second stage ignition. We'll continue to see this engine burn until about eight and a half minutes into today's flight. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. SpaceX, Dragon, nominal trajectory. Again, these performance calls happen once a minute. Flight teams continuing to track the Falcon 9 and its ascent. Everything's looking good so far. You'll also continue to hear those check-ins of the ground stations as we pass them. 
At this point in time, we're roughly two minutes away from the next major event, which will be the entry burn for the first stage. We will relight three engines, uh, three M1D engines on that first stage to help slow the vehicle down uh, as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. We're approaching 200 kilometers in altitude. It's about 124 miles. Meanwhile, velocity. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Good trajectory calls. About to pass 12,000 kilometers SpaceX per hour. Dragon, nominal trajectory. It's about 7,500 miles per hour. Seco, second stage engine cutoff, would be coming at 8 minutes 48 seconds. We're coming up on that event. SpaceX, Dragon, Shannon. Shannon. Copy, Shannon. Now off the coast of Shannon, Ireland. Standing by for Seco. MVAC shut down. Now we're about 20 seconds away from the first stage entry burn. That burn will last about 30 seconds and help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry burn start up. And there you can see stage two, FTS has saved. on your screen that first stage entry burn has begun. That booster sees high drag, which actually scrubs roughly 70% of the velocity by the time that the landing burn begins. So about another 10 seconds of this entry burn. Again, three engines relit, the center and two Stage radio entry engines. Burn and conclusion of that entry burn. Meanwhile, good performance on the second stage. Since second stage ignition, we've been in a two alpha abort mode. The next abort modes will happen in rapid succession to Bravo, to Charlie, Delta, Terminal and Echo. Guidance. Each indicating different series of maneuvers in the event of an abort scenario. But as you've been hearing through the periodic checks, we're seeing good trajectory, good performance on the Dragon and Falcon 9. Stage one landing burn. And there we heard the call out indicating that landing burn. Dragon, SpaceX, we have a nominal orbit insertion. Great news there for. SpaceX Dragon copies nominal orbital insertion. Launch escape system disarmed. For Dragon Endeavor. Stage one landing lead deploy. Attempting to land on our drone ship, just read the instructions. And there you can see on your screen, and also indicated by the cheers behind you, successful landing of this booster. It's first trip to space, and therefore it's first landing. An eruption of applause here at SpaceX Mission Control. There you can see on your screen, confirmation. Dragon separation confirmed. Of that separation confirmed. That's right, the Falcon Dragon 9. Dragon CE here, welcome to orbit. Congratulations, your flight is exactly four years after the flight of the Demo-1 mission. Like Andre said, all the best things take two tries. Happy that we could get you off tonight. Uh, if you enjoyed your ride, please don't forget to give us five stars. Over to LD for some words. Thank you for flying SpaceX. And SpaceX Dragon copies all. That was fantastic. Thank you. And Kate, this really sets the uh, crew up for some of the major burns here. That nose cone deploying reveals the four forward bulkhead Dracos that do a lot of the heavy lifting, a lot of those significant burns that bring the crew closer to the International Space Station. That's right. The nose cone is basically the pointy end at the top of Dragon. So now with that being exposed, 
Those forward bulkhead thrusters uh, will be able to do their job um, as Dragon Endeavor makes its way to the International Space Station. Um, just prior to losing the ground station coverage, we were able to catch a quick glimpse of the zero G indicator. Um, I always love seeing that be revealed uh, as it's always different for each crew and it's always special to the crew members. Um, so I love the words that were shared around that. And I personally have a strong connection to this capsule. This was the Demo 2 capsule, the Crew 2 capsule, the Axiom 1 capsule, and now the Crew 6 capsule. And so with all that being said, let's head back over to Daryl and Roger.